After missing for 22 hours, this boy was found, but he's not alone. But before we start, please take a moment to give this video a like, subscribe to Happy World and hit the bell so you'll never miss these great stories. When Caden's parents realized their son had gone missing on an April evening in 2018, it was incredibly warm outside. They initially believed he was engaging in a game of hide and seek, but quickly realized that wasn't the case. They located him after nearly 22 hours of searching, but are stopped in their tracks when they discover he's not alone. In Blount County, Tennessee, the family lived in a small community known as Top of the World. Caden's parents didn't mind if he played with himself as long as he didn't go too far without informing them. Caden was still missing on April 23, 2018, despite the fact that darkness had fallen. Naturally, his parents were concerned about his whereabouts. After all, he usually returned home by 6 p.m. While they were aware that he'd been playing outside as usual, they became concerned when he failed to return home that evening. But who exactly is Caden Leach? He was a happy and good boy who enjoyed being outside and playing with animals. Chula, his black and white terrier, is his pet. He, like many others his age, got into a lot of mischief. His parents initially assumed he was simply hiding somewhere in the house. When they realized their mistake, they contacted James Lee Baring, the Blount County Sheriff. They didn't want to take any chances because it was getting colder and darker outside and Caden didn't have a coat. When a child goes missing, it's every parent's worst nightmare. It's only natural for them to want to protect their child so you can imagine how terrifying it must be when something like this happens. Caden's parents weren't any different. They were baffled as to why their son had vanished so quickly. They did, however, want to find and return him. There was clearly something out of the ordinary going on here. They had a gut feeling this was the case even though they didn't know it yet. The sheriff of the county was well aware time was of the essence. He quickly enlisted others' assistance in spreading the word about Caden. A person's usually required to wait at least 24 hours before filing a missing persons alert. However, because it was a small community, this wasn't the case. They were truly worried, especially because they thought he'd been kidnapped. It's possible that he was freezing because he didn't have his coat. The sheriff had no desire to speculate on the worst case scenario, so he worked quickly and as much as he could to help the family. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation issued an endangered child alert at 7 p.m. that night. According to the sheriff's office, the alert mentioned Caden's appearance. It pleaded with community members to look for him, noting that he was last seen around 6 p.m. Caden stood 4 feet tall, weighed 27 kilos or 60 pounds, had brown hair and blue eyes, according to his parents. Aside from that, they also revealed he was wearing at the time of his disappearance to the sheriff. He had a black shirt, black slacks, gray sweatpants. A search and rescue mission was carried out by the local sheriff's department. Meanwhile, a military Black Hawk helicopter from the nearby McGee Tyson Air Base assisted in the search. After Baring received a phone call from the Leach family, things got started quickly. They launched a ground operation in addition to using the chopper to search for the boy. Almost a hundred first responders made of the search and rescue team who uncovered 2,000 acres of mountainous terrain. The question was whether they'd be able to locate this young boy before it was too late. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation TBI Blount County Chief Deputy Jeff French and Blount County Sheriff's Department all conducted their own grid searches to look for Caden on foot. When word of his disappearance spread, members of the local community stepped up to help. Blount County Emergency Services issued an Integrated Public Alert and Warning System IPAWS, message to let everyone know what was going on in hours. When members of the local community received the message, they recognized they too needed to act. After all, a child's life was at stake here. They were probably reminded of their own children and grandchildren. It had to have struck a chord. Aside from the iPaws message, the Blount County community was kept informed about what was going on thanks to a smartphone app called Nextdoor. The program aided in spreading the word even more. It's a relatively private social network for residents in given areas. Many people were unable to assist with the search, but they made every effort to assist in any way they could. One of the local volunteers told WVLT News, we're a very tight community. We try to help everyone. I got a phone call about what was going on. I was coming up the mountain from work and just shot straight over and did what I could to help. According to a former neighborhood resident, Megan Kessler heard about the missing kid and created an organization dedicated to supporting search and rescue operations. She gave the volunteers food and water. She spoke to WVLT News and said, We knew it was going to be a long night. We brought coffee, chili, whatever they needed. We wanted to make sure we could supply it. They wouldn't let us search, so we did what we could. Everybody pitched in to help spread the word about this breaking story. 
The Tennessee Endangered Child Alert also shared a photo of the youngster on Facebook. They described Caden Leach's appearance and the circumstances surrounding his disappearance. The post was also posted by WBIR Channel 10. The post was shared over 2,000 times and received 350 reactions, updated with more information. Caden's whereabouts were the focus of the entire community search. Word got around like wildfire. Even though they put in the most effort and assistance of local volunteers, the search yielded no results. The searchers were unable to rescue the young boy. It was dark and cold. As time went on and no one found the missing boy, authorities became increasingly worried about him getting sick if he wasn't found soon. In his case, the weather was deadly due to the fact that he wasn't wearing warm clothes. This spurred him to act faster. They were well aware he was dressed in insufficiently warm clothing to keep him warm during the night. For someone his age and size, that may prove lethal. It was critical he be located as quickly as possible. This was the point at which the search for Caden drew in an increasingly number of people. They were all aware of the urgency of rapidly locating him. None of them wanted to hear about the possibility of a tragedy because of this. For the next couple of hours, the search continued. Within a half-mile radius of the Leach family home, they focused on that area. In order to expand the search into surrounding rural and mountainous area, they had to wait till morning. His parents were undoubtedly worried about him. They were nervous, scared, and even guilty for allowing him to play alone outside. It took some time, but they eventually found out Caden was safe and sound. What actually happened? By staying up all night, the residents of the community demonstrated how close-knit and dedicated they were. They provided the volunteers with water and snacks. It was their way of assisting the first responders who'd been searching for Caden non-stop. Caden had to be somewhere out there they knew. It was only a matter of staying committed and focused. They had no intention of abandoning the mission until Caden was returned to his family. They were dead set on doing just that. It became a little easier to locate the young man once it was daylight again. While the search for him remained difficult, no one gave up hope. They were all hoping that they'd find him alive and well. Because it was possible he'd fallen or drowned, search crews went to the lake to look for him. They didn't find him though. The Black Hawk chopper continued to look for him above ground in a search as well. They decided to look at the mountain signs and various abandoned buildings in the area after checking out the lake. It was possible Caden sought refuge in one of those structures avoiding the cold. Sadly, they were unable to find him there either. After the early morning hours passed, they still had no idea where Caden Leach was. His family tried to think of anywhere he could have gone. Is there something sinister going on? It sounded impossible to their community. It made no sense to his parents that he'd vanished without warning. After all, he was well aware of his curfew and the limits of his freedom. Something didn't add up and everyone knew it. To figure out where Caden might have gone while playing outside, the rescuers tried to think like a child. This only encouraged them to think creatively. They went to places and looked in places they wouldn't have looked. They checked the woods as well as abandoned buildings. They didn't realize it at the time, but they were getting closer. They began looking for abandoned structures in the region. Then they went deeper into the woods. They had no idea they were coming closer to finally discovering Caden. They had a sneaking suspicion they were onto something. The crew made sure to check the entire area when they went into the woods not far from the neighborhood. They were officially out of options where he could have gone. The afternoon was drawing to a close and everyone knew they'd been stuck when night fell. Time was running out, but they were distracted when they heard a strange noise. The afternoon progressed. All the volunteers involved were aware they needed to continue searching until it became dark. The clock was ticking, literally. They were all started by a noise from the woods. It piqued their interest immediately. What if he was pleading for help? The rescuers finally found something useful 22 hours after this young boy went missing. They had heard a growl from the woods. They could hear the growling becoming louder and stronger as they moved closer to the source. Despite the fact they had no idea what they might see, they continued. They felt compelled to investigate because it sounded like a dog. They were deep in the woods and there were a lot of options for them to explore. They were unaware of what they might discover, but they kept searching for the source of the noise. Knowing it sounded like a dog growl, they didn't take too long to discover it. However, in the middle of the woods, it was possible the sound could be quite a different noise altogether. Rescuers and volunteers arrived at the area where the sound was originating, and they found Caden, only a quarter mile from his house. He hadn't ventured far during the night and he had to wait till morning to start his expedition. The young boy must have been disoriented, paralyzed by fear and chose to remain where he was. However, what surprised everyone was that he wasn't alone when he was missing. Caden Leach had been missing for 22 hours when they found him around 3.30 p.m. that day. They discovered him and discovered what was making the growling sound. Chula, his black and white terrier, was the culprit. The dog growled at the rescuers when they approached Caden, so the dog's a protector. BCSO Chief Deputy Jeff French said in a statement, Chula did everything she could to keep Caden safe and sound throughout the night while they were in the woods. 
When they discovered the missing boy, he didn't appear to be in good health. When they asked Caden how he felt, all he said was very cold. He wore only gray sweatpants and a black shirt. This accounts for his extreme cold that night. His skin was also purple. Additionally, the search team inquired as to his whereabouts. They informed Caden that they'd transport him to safety after he gave them the address. He required medical attention, but they also had to look after Chula the dog. Before these responders could transport Caden to his home, they transported him to Blount Memorial Hospital to be evaluated by medical personnel. They wanted to make certain he didn't have hypothermia or other health problems before dropping him off at home. The family was overjoyed to see their little boy safe and sound. Their minds simply couldn't comprehend that Chula was standing right in front of them. It was almost like something you'd see in a movie or book. Caden's family decided to issue an official statement while he was being checked out at Blount Memorial Hospital. They initially had no information about his condition or the circumstances around his disappearance. Nonetheless, his family wanted to express their gratitude to the incredible local volunteers and rescue teams who went above and beyond to help them find their son.